was OBS that crashed or Twitch that broke, but it crashed regardless, so it took a little yeah, bit of time. Yeah, we're back. Ooh. We're back, yes. Apologies for that, guys. We should be back again. Right. Um, okay. I so can now order in, everyone in. In this episode of what you missed in the oh, early we've got Eric already ages. in the mid lane getting a knock up onto do, but the W will get him a away. Nice Fine, actually, huge. From loads of damage is going to Eric. Down to 200 health. Taking away. Yeah, so, so, at least started yeah. Q. She queued at casting, cast in flash. At least then had to smite the red buff because she started Q. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, no, part like like that just happened. Yeah, yeah. The, the game there we go. Where, where Eric just gets heavily punished because there's oh, no the follow. double root on top. Lazy panda. Nicely done. So I'm not going to be able to punish that accordingly. Uh, Caitlyn has started cull. So uh, should have cut down as well. No, there was no in, there was no invade. It was just a, a little scuff. Um, in the top side river. She does have cut down. Yeah. So thankfully it's not not a terrible pick. Now oh, we have a pass coming in, no, never mind. Okay. There was no invades. Yeah, no. Uh just to let people know. Yeah, it was just a little little scuffed scrim in or engage in the top lane. But yeah. We do see actually Mr. Oldie hanging in the bottom side of this mid lane. Oh. It hasn't actually been spotted by Dot. But he's staying there for quite a while and Eric's already almost there to respond. Oh actually, no, Mr. you're going Eric there. just he's got to play a level behind. Oh no, um, Eric. Uh, early Elise is scary. Um, kind of strange. Yeah. If it was Conqueror at least, okay. This is Electrocute at least. After the initial burst, she she's done. Sitting on a ward right now. Interesting to see if GOTR give away. Is spending a lot of time waiting for ganks, and actually, it's not paying off. You see, Eric's there already. Still level three. And actually, oh, except tried get... to predict the flash fails. Um, going Obi towards that tower. The tower. Spiderlings will take the tower shot. Well, Set looking right. pretty low, Eric is coming in. Doobie has roamed down, but he's spied on the ward. That's a very useful ward they've put down. Giving them a lot already. I think my Doobie's just having a bit of a moment today. We should have another freeze there. I think they have Eric's an idea, Mr. Oldie's surround. Yeah, they know he's there. So there's no ward in that top bush from GOTR, so I think they're assuming... There's pings coming out, so I think they're assuming that he's in there. He's already spending a lot of time. I don't... So what, he spent a good at least 30 seconds in the bottom side of mid. Spent 15 to 20 waiting in bot lane. And then another, you know, 30 seconds waiting in this bottom side bush now. He's already spent a minute and a half or so just waiting on nothing. Which is huge, because we're only five minutes into the game. I mean, it is unfortunate it is the Infernal first, and therefore he can't just solo Infernal Drake. Um, Eric's back yeah. in the bot lane. Ooh, so it's going to get caught by a nice stun from Lady Panda into the knockup from Eric, and that'll be first blood going and landing onto except Otago using that shard to get himself away. Once again, first blood coming out from the blue side, Caitlyn, this time being played by the GTR Tenno instead of Otakill. Yeah, Eric oh, just came back a couple times to try and make that gank work out, and it did. Gets that first blood, gold on to Tenno. Looks like they're going to try and rotate this into the first Infernal Dragon. Do you see Tenno is now rotating up? Okay, now, if the camera decides that we don't want to look top lane, there we go. Um, will be it. first dragon looking like it's going to go over to GOTR as Mr. Oldie. Sitting on Grump there, not looking like he's going to contest that. I'm still watching yeah. top lane. The camera yeah. really likes top lane. Yeah, I moved it manually. <laughs> I don't know why the camera loves top lane, but yeah, uh, GOTR pick up an early Drake. That's really not good if you're SAS. Now, Drake number two is going to be a cloud. So either going to be on a mountain or a ocean rift. Okay, a cloud is something at least can take by herself. Um, if only that was the first Drake, you could have gone and done it like level three, four. I'm not sure if she needs to be three or four. Okay, so we see a synchronized recall coming out from both top and bot side on the side of SAS. But it doesn't look like they want to rotate nope. for the Herald that's going to be spawning soon. 
Oh, to kill passing towards bottom side, so it doesn't look like they're gonna be going for that swap. And there we go, Ooh. Supernova gonna be TPing into the top lane actually. TP to the lane. Stand so United least... is up, so he is able to follow. That's why some Shen players these days like to run Ignite over Teleport, because you practically already have a Teleport built into your kit. I think by teleporting there, he's denying Reddington the, the reset. He's saying if you want to reset, you have to use your TP, and then they'll have TP. The Reddington can, can TP them. right now, since it looks like Supernovas can hold this freeze if he makes it freeze, and if he makes it freeze, it's just all the time Actually, in the world for Reddington. going to be coming out, Mr. Oldie. Is that a nice route a nice... on to Reddington? Ultimate from Autokill will be keeping Red um, we'll trying to get the damage out, but Reddington, of course, Flash. flashing away. I forgot which side Autokill was on there. That'd be Reddington getting away safe. Forced to reset, and if you have to have a look at this top lane, Supernova can set up a freeze it? hit. It looks, it looks like he's going to try. Yeah, it looks like he's going to try. He's got five <gasps> casters oh there. Okay, four casters left alive. That's all he needs. Just four he's minion advantage. It. Oh, he's doing it! <laughs> oh, you know it's a slow game when we're excited oh. about seeing someone remember to freeze. I mean, we never see this. <laughs> like, it, it, it doesn't really matter that he frees because it just gives a free reset for Reddington where he can't find the minion. Yeah. But like, it's a nice idea it that he remembers great. it's a thing. Not true. Like, it, it, it would have been great if, like, Reddington was forced to stay into lane right now because then he had nowhere Ooh. to go. Doobie actually has no mana. Yeah, he can't really fight this. But, of course, that Blue Buster does have that sustain alongside the uh, fleet footwork. Nice small trade from Reddington. I've also just realized we're going to be seeing three tier items in this game. One on the Corky, one on the Sana, and one on the Kassadin. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a very slow game, isn't it? Uh, potentially, yes. But looking at how far Caitlyn's already ahead with the fact in mind she had Skull. Like, it's it's um, it's Skull yeah. plus, plus the kill she already got. Skull is 300, I think? It's th it's a full kill think, gold uh, in total when you add the minion gold plus the gold when you uh, complete the item. It's 350 when you yeah, complete it, yeah. uh, and essentially 450 overall, then you can sell it for an extra 180 when you sell it. It's like, I always tell myself, if I complete kill, I just get a free kill. Yeah. Yep. Oh, actually... Gold worth. Uh, in the meantime, we we did see Eric finishing off that Herald by himself. Is there any way you'd like to see him put this? Um, I'd like depends. to see him just try and get a gank off first before using it this time. Yeah, because... actually that. Yeah, every last other time. Last time it was Tess, right? Yeah, last time SES, Herald. they got the Herald and they just whacked it mid lane and it was almost instantly killed. Um... I don't think we've seen a really good herald usage yet. But one of the bigger issues I have with Eric as a jungler is he's a really objective oriented jungler, but sometimes he just forgets that there's like lanes to be ganked with the champions he's playing. Like Jarvan shouldn't be played as a farming jungler and right now he has only one KP more than his counterpart that's actually an early game jungler that's also not really uh, off to a great start. Let's just keep it at that. Yeah, and I think I'd look at this game state and I think it's either a good time, well probably just I'd probably focus on the bot lane with the, the current champions that are out there. I don't think you particularly are able to gank a Corky as Jarvan particularly well. But I think you can probably gank Senna Nautilus pretty well, especially when you've got the Caitlyn brand that you want to get some gold into, want to keep into this game. Lane ganks exist along you have control wards and sweepers on your side. Um, also a thing to note actually is that his Jarvan, like when I play Jarvan I always opt to go into uh, Inspiration Secondary because it allows you to get your free stopwatch into Gargoyles. You see, oh that web's not going to quite land on Eric there. Feels like SAS are up. slowly trying to set up this dragon here. I see a good rotate up to stop Jarvan from even considering putting down the Herald. Um, at this rate he might just end up shoving it somewhere because he has to use it. Reddington has Teleport and Ult ready. When the enemies are on Dragon, you can potentially throw Herald down to divert the attention. Oh, of course. not quite gonna hit. Gotta be very careful, Shen Taunt can interrupt that uh, 
TP. Uh, Supernova is actually getting trade. fairly low. Or he could just choose to uh, ult in himself. Uh, if I were Supernova, I'd probably be looking for, for a reset into Stand United. Uh, yeah, being able to actually Stand United. Oh, but actually, going for the pickle to DB will be using that W to get himself away. Actually, the cocoon landing onto Dot. Damage onto Dot. Damage, onto damage but actually on the root line, with Eric forcing him to flash Eric away, but Flash Ultra makes sense to land that dredge line. And that'll be a kill. Landing onto a Eric. Dragon. And I uh, assume Dragon is going to be a dragon. For Dragon, yeah. yeah. I don't know why Eric didn't go for Flag and Drag, because she actually become unstoppable in that animation, and then afterwards she still could have flashed away. Uh, his Flag and Drag wasn't cooldown because he went for that on 2 doobie just before. Hmm. I believe so, anyway. I think the cooldown was a little bit too long. No, this is being done, well, but... Whilst you guys are doing that, I'm actually going to watch it back. <laughs> yep, so Dragon is um, taken, Lazy Panda is in the area, gonna probably try and steal it with a W. Obviously not gonna step too far forward, it's except Rome's down. There's absolutely no pressure actually, here. Dragon oh, gonna reset a little resets. bit. Resets. Eric's gonna Eric's, get in yeah, Eric's time, maybe. And <gasps> seven health. Smite was not there, but did Miss get secured. Smite. And now Mr. Oldie caught in the back. So we're gonna finish him off and now except taken down by Tenno. Supernova gonna get torn into the middle, get finished off that kill onto Lazy Panda. And now in the 3v1, Supernova is able to dodge those Caitlyn traps. Walk away. It was the two for one overall, but Dragon was secured by SAS. Yeah, so Did the Damascian stand was actually on cooldown, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> Did uh, drop to seven health there. Um, I'd expect Rift Herald. Oh, Rift Herald timed out. No Herald got used in the end. Pretty sure he still had it then in the end. Uh, Did he? Yeah. Uh, Harold goes on like a three second cooldown when you're in combat. Yeah, so. during the entire fight on when he was running up there, there was Harold. Let's see when it runs out. After the fight. Yeah, he could have put it down. He had more than enough time to put it down. He tried to hold it until he got into the mid lane and it timed out as he hit the first minion in mid lane. Like, there was absolutely no reason for it to time out. Just that we're going to be seeing a small lane swap here, do be sent up into that top lane. And Supernova actually into the mid lane. Not as important for him to use that Herald since, like, the tower plane was already gone anyway. I think the amount of damage you get from it and the fact that the uh, both it, it, enemies it, were it, taking it, it's their still back. Great. It's still great, but, like, that's because he, he already... Yeah took it at that point like just just in, de in general he just got a hundred gold of clearing a neutral objective yeah well okay um yeah. great it's even less than you get from like an average camp yeah well let's have a look at the tier stacks we got 225 on doobie on that porky 289 on auto kill on the center and 316 on dot it's a while before those tier stack oh i missed one actually and 126 on tenno Wait. Four tier game. Yep, but we do see a tier on Tenno. <laughs> Don't ask. Um, I had not even clocked that. Okay. Yeah. Tier Top Caitlyn? Three. For instead of the IE build, going for the tier Caitlyn. Actually, we see a small skirmish in this bot lane. Teleport coming out from Dot, except an all skill left to run away, but the ultimate from Brand. Bouncing its way through, Dot. They're really trying to force this. Actually, get hooked by Accept, but uh, that'll be his death as Tenno and Lazy Pan just blow him up there. Yeah, so Dot just wants to give the kill to Tenno, I guess, because, well, Dot he didn't jumped get away. Assist. Now, oh, auto-kill well. left in this 1v4. Gonna be walking away, but the uh, Rift walks will be keeping on top of him. And Meanwhile, the teleport from Supernova underneath the tower. The tower is dead, now surrounded by both Eric, Dot, Elise Panda, and Tenno. Supernova will most likely be falling here as well. Mr. Audi walking in as well. No, walking out, making that right. No, walking back in. Gonna stun Eric. He seems indecisive. Ow. Turn around, turn around, Aldi. This isn't this your is moment. This what I wanted SAS to do, not what I wanted TR to do. Um, I felt like, yeah, they could use the early pressure by pushing down a single lane using the Corky and everything else, but GTR have oh, gone for the instead. Landing onto Eric, but Dot is right there into the Talipism and accept, oh. and Mr. Aldi gonna get caught. Nice ult from Ultica, but it won't be enough as the double kill lands onto Dot. And this is not the time you want to see Cassid in getting kills. Yeah, practically GG right, like we're, we're 17 minutes in game, 4 and no casted in, there's, there's no no real way right here for Seth to recover. No, they... Um... It, it feels you... like they don't have... Like, they'd have nothing to least, match. 
Who right. he's right now is, is not even close to a noteworthy champion on their side. Um, I, I don't know what Accept is doing, but Accept is taking greedy trades on, well, nothing, since they didn't have any form of vision where Eric was going, so they instantly got collapsed 4 to 2. He has Mobies again, um, and he's not running around the map too much. Uh, okay, so, yeah. Oh. Um, I think their only real chance here is you try and get both your tier items stacked, assuming you're going to get them stacked before Caitlyn can get hers, because it's a Caitlyn. I would hope you get them stacked before Caitlyn stacks hers. And you play around the fact that casting can't have itemized into not getting bursted by both your AD and your AP damage. And you hope that you can one-shot Cassidy and win the fight from there. Yep. Uh, can you one-shot a Cassidy? Probably not. And it's going to get much um, harder as we're on a mountain soul as well. That dragon is going to be spawning in 16 seconds. And it looks like GOTR do have the uh, position advantage for this. I swear the camera really loves top lane. Let's take it away. Look at Doobie. Actually, Doobie preparing himself with that package. He's looking for possibly the pick onto Dot or Tenno. Tenno oh, actually stepping quite far forward. Up. Eric and Tenno are out but, of position oh, here. Doobie going to go for Doobie that pick waits. onto Eric. He's going to use that second W to get himself away, but huge damage landing onto Doobie. Dot will actually pick up that kill onto Mr. Oldie, and now it's just the rest of GOTR will not be finished off. Super Nova for that flash taunt forwards, but there's no follow up from the rest of SAS, and Eric will fall as well, but except looking very low, which is the auto attacks are from. Or to kill, uh, from okay. Tenno even, we'll finish him off. In theory, I liked what he did with the Corky package. I think he just waited way too long to use it. The point where Eric had flag and dragged over the wall and was practically at your tower, that's when you should <laughs> package forwards and you should take the free kill onto Eric. Also, oh, so actually interrupting that recall people. from auto kill. Going to be Crift walking over the route, but I decided not to finish Stop. it off. Well, like, Supernova actually got, like, a four-man taunt right there. It's just that there's nothing to follow up. Mm, he did the flash yep. taunt forwards, and the rest of SAS were either, you know, like, 200 health or too far back to be able to follow it up. This is, uh... I mean... Of course, it is worth remembering SAS do have two subs right now. Um, they're not going to be at their normal strength. One of their subs is also extremely off-roll. Uh, a mid top player on support. Uh, I think Doobie is a mid laner though. Doobie's not a sub, is he? Is yeah, he? Doobie's, Doobie's a sub. Yeah, Do Doobie's a substitute for Firehawk. Doobie's a oh, substitute yeah. for Firehawk. Who's a substitute for. I can't remember. Um, Win? No, Wins. No. I think Wins left. Wins is. Yeah, anyway. So that's why uh, he's a substitute. Anyway. Like jungle, Lazy Panda. That she will be stealing the red buff away from Mr. Aldi. Autocar, you're gonna land that route, but Lazy Panda is fine. Oh no, Aldi. Oh, the EQ lands, but Mr. Aldi does get that route, but there's no Raptors oh, to jump to. to. Go. Cataclysm will come forward, and the heals from Autocar aren't enough. Eric can take a lot of damage, but except flashing back with that there's brand ultimate brand on him. Old. They will survive, but it looks like their mid tower is going to be falling with this next minion wave that is coming through. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Supernova from Reddington. That actually didn't go anywhere as effective. I thought I thought Supernova was going to get a little bit further than that, but no. Mid tower is going to be falling. Supernova is winning the trades in the top lane, but not heavy enough for it to really matter too much. And... Getting a little bit more pressure on Reddington there. Probably going to force a recall, but probably will not be able to get that kill by himself. I just see pings coming from Eric and Tenno looking towards the top side. Might be looking for a tower dive here, or they just want to push down that outer tower. Now we're going to be spotted on the wall there. Two members of SAS with Mr. Oldie and Autokill are in the area, as well as Doobie just behind them. Root not quite going to land. Doobie going to take a lot of damage. Going to just about dodge Ooh. the stun, but takes so much damage from Lazy Panda and Tenno there. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, you can see Dot's just pushing in a wave. He has awesome, teleport available if they want to fight. The God is used. Knock up gonna land supernova, no one else though, but this can be first tower top tower landing on to SAS. A nice knock up from Eric going on to Supernova, but Press go for the engage. Um, Eric's the route. getting CC'd as he goes. Oldie oh, using jumps that forwards. Repel to go forward, but just Tenno huge damage with those headshots. Meanwhile, Dot continues pushing. Tenno with that double kill there, landing this and flashing forward, actually Supernova going for the flash taunt back in, but there's no damage to follow up as Tenno gets another 
in oh. hip towers, half health on the bottom Mason side. Hole using the to field to push him away. As this full man from top lane of GOTR, look for the second tier tower. And as you mentioned, in the meantime, dot on that inhibitor tower. Takes the inhib tower, going for the inhib. This, um. The game at least is going a lot cleaner on the side uh, of GOTR, and I, I like to yes. see it. And they're focusing the towers this time. Um, they could have just decided randomly to turn for Baron. I like the fact they actually just went, took the towers and they're taking their back. They can go for Baron, like, right now. Exactly. They, they have a bot in down, so there's enough pressure from the enemy team that has to go down to bot lane to defend it. Exactly, they're not over-prioritizing uh, any of the objectives as opposed to other objectives they could get on the map. I, I don't know why uh, why people do this on Senna. Like, your, your ultimate doesn't deal damage to neutral objectives. I think it was so, vision, but... Yeah, it, it, it gives vision. That's basically, yeah. Um, kind uh, of a waste for an ultimate with that much potential in team fights. Mm -hmm, one corner as well. Uh, meanwhile, things to notice: fully stacked here, four drops. That's another spike. Tenno is six hundred one out of seven fifty, so almost there. DB about ninety stacks, where six sixty and six seventy for auto kill. So those tiers are almost done. So it's interesting that um, Senna and Corky aren't that far ahead of Caitlyn, considering they were picked up earlier. That's the real time to try and get get ahead. Looks like Dreadnought is just trying to pressure this bot lane as much as he can whilst that dragon will be spawning via that ocean in 13 seconds. Still already going to be walking down. Dot is there on the pink ward ready to oh, huge look at the damage. damage. Yeah. Dot showing just how fed he is on that Cassid and the Call of the Forge God will be used to push away the rest of SAS. As you just pick up their third dragon. Just the rift walk was just enough to just obliterate eighty percent. Was he at eight hundred mana on that rift walk? Uh, I I don't know how far he was. It 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 just almost one shot all the. That rift walk alone. Yep. Insanity. Insanity indeed. So they're returning straight up for this Baron. Not just gonna clear that vision whilst he can. No package on Doobie. I have a little bit of trouble intercepting. Actually, Dot going to do this. He's managed to do. He's going to get caught by the root. Reddington is there to follow up. The ultimate from except going to be catch on. Stop, but with the rift walks, it's not quite going to catch him. Now Reddington stepping quite far forward into the rest of SAS. Forcing him to flash away. Fine. Meanwhile, the Baron is finished by the rest of GOTR. And super minions are close to the Nexus Towers. Yeah, I think this is pretty much GG. Uh, two reasons. Uh, the fact that they have Baron and they they can actually use it effective, uh, effectively right now. And the fact that one of the players is already in chat trash talking. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, we'll have to see uh, just how clean the end actually is, I guess. Oh, they, do, as said, they do have that Baron. And him to down in the bottom to... lane. Well, I have to think about future rules of uh, posting in chat when your game is currently on the screen. <laughs> that might be uh, something to think about. Death Cap is finished by Dot. We'll be teleporting in straight away. With the tower falling. Eric getting a nice knock up on Supernova over there. Call of the Forge God is used. Gets a nice knock up to accept a huge amount of damage coming from Dot. Finishing off that with the Rift Walk and E. And the tower slowly falling. Wrenching between blocking that route. Using their sheer tankiness of the Orn. Whilst he can, Ari is taking a lot of damage there. We'll be safe those Tenno blocks, that ultimate from GB. Which <laughs> keeping that cannon barrened up. So it's a little bit harder for SAS to clear it out, not charging up that Rift Walk on the side. Yeah, and he, he also has the upgrade on the Ravnus Death Crown. So yeah, that, that, that's pretty much Supernova, game. Supernova, ooh, gonna survive that. But the nah, not quite. Pace in the hole, we'll finish him off. The... Wait, Eric has the... got Cataclysm available, but Doc trying to Rift Walk on top. Repels away, but another kill over to Dot. As mid is falling, Super Minion's in the bottom lane. He's only level 15, not even level 16 yet. Hasn't even hit the Cassid in power spike. Trip, trip, triple Except item. Except deleted from the map as Dot hovers around those Nexus Towers. Do be going for that pick onto Eric, but oh. Dot showing just how ahead he is in this Cassid in. 10 and 0. 
stop showing why you need to ban AP. that Kassadin in 27 Three minutes. items, 750 AP. Yeah. That's 2 0 um, if for we, GOTR. If we had to choose like a clear winner for the MVP award for this game, I, I say it once again just goes to, to Dot. I think I've been really. Uh, spot on in my predictions that he was going to be like the ace card in the team of JOTR and I think he's, he's also proven that in the past two games. Well, I'll pop yeah. a vote into chat in case anyone disagrees with you, but yes, I think uh, my vote would also go to Dot. It's, it's huge. Uh, I would be surprised to see it going anywhere else. Um, uh, you can make a call for Tenno since he played really well on Caitlyn right now. Ten and O, most damage in the game, most gold in the game. Not necessarily most CS, but it doesn't necessarily matter. But you know, Muramana Caitlyn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it worked I, out in the end. Uh, I'd be interested to see how much damage the Muramana did, and then we yeah. can compare it to what if you had an IE instead, um, considering he had the BF sword as well. We can assume it's enough for an IE. I mean, it is enough for an IE. BF yeah. Sword plus Miranda. Um, yeah. Be yeah. interesting Vote to see. Vote is up in chat for your MVPs. Now, we've done, we've already very quickly gone through our MVPs for GOTR. How about for SAS? And the silence, uh, I think, says it all there. <laughs> Doobie auto kill. I think I... Doobie played a really decent mid lane right there. Yeah, I don't think that was his fault. Uh, Cassidy got what was it, two, three kills off he random got, like, double kill river fights lane. bot lane. Um, I think, I think mostly the draft had... was just scuffed on the yeah. side of Das. I think he had some nice idea. Like there was one time where he used the package, which was a nice idea, but I think he just left it a little bit too late to execute on it. Um. He's trying his best, but honestly, just getting kind of one shot by Cassidy and Caitlyn hitting him as soon as he tried anything. Yeah. I didn't really get the Elise pick right here. Also, the start, of course, we already talked about that, but it, it's not like this Elise had a lot of early game impact, which is the no. sole reason why you'd pick it. I, I'd understand it if you were drafting an AD mid laner and you your jungler could only play a couple of AP picks. You wanted to get that AP pick. But, but like even but then, Elise, Elise, her strength is so dependent on how are the first five to ten minutes in game, and if you cannot get your snowball rolling, you're pretty much just a ball in the water, just waiting to sink. So, yep. yeah, that's why I'm not not really a fan of the Elise pick right here. Okay, we got a mess from SAS chest. So issue from SAS, looking for an early game to abuse the weak Cassidy, and got the early flash, but didn't. Go on to that. Jojo played well. Did what we could with two last minute subs. Yeah, chats MVP, 70% going to Dot, 20% over to Tenno and Caitlin, and the one vote for Eric on J4. Yeah, it's probably himself. <laughs> Honestly, I noticed he had one vote last game as well. Yeah. Right, so. But yeah, very well played by both teams. Had two 2-0s two today. We can have a look at our we stream to uh, I edit that very quickly uh, to see that the uh, 2-0 to G-O-T-R. Do we have the standings? <laughs> Yay! These are the standings <laughs> <Yeah>. currently. <laughs> Great. Um, if you are in the Discord, uh, we will be updating the full standings uh, shortly after stream finishes, as well as I can... Yep. Try and figure That's out some job. stats as we can from this game as well. I'll probably do that tomorrow or when I get a proper <laughs> chance. Yeah. Sometime. So, so, sometime. Yeah, I've got to do it manually. We don't have fancy scripts or anything to do any of this. We do not. But, uh, unless you have any parting words, uh, I would like to thank both Gabler and Dermot for coming on and casting. You can find them. They stream. Uh, watch me spell your... Oh, is it a the? Ooh. The? There we go. Yeah, yeah, it's so, it, 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 the. Go. Yeah. So go check out the exactly. stream, yeah. and go. I'll once again shout out to Cabot's stream as well. Go check them both out. And um, we shall see you guys next week for more Jolly League. Um, 
Jack will have both divisions playing next week. I promise. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a promise. It'll work. Maybe also on like different dates than just Sunday. You know, maybe, perhaps. Depends oh, on when the team's schedule. Maybe. We, we have teams it will trying to work it out. That way the teams organize it. All of this information will be available on the Discord, which if any of you would like, I can... Let's grab a link and pop it in the chat there. Uh, Good idea. My Discord being part of a team. very slow. Yeah, so if you're interested, yeah. there is the Discord. Go check it out. If you're part of a team, when you get in, just ping me or Yoria Nia to um, give you a team role. Yes. Unless any so yeah, I can... Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh. Sorry, did I interrupt you there? No, 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 you didn't. Like, I was about to say something, and I was like, nah, maybe not so smart to say that right now. So. <laughs> but yes, uh, that'll be all for today. We will see you all, guys, next week for some more CL Joy League. Bye, guys.